Shift work can be absolutely brutal on the social layer of your resilient shield. When I used to work nights in emergency department, there'd be, there'd be weeks at a time where I wouldn't see my wife. I would be getting up and going to work before she had come home from work. And I'd be getting home from work and getting to bed after she had left for work. And it was really difficult to, to maintain those social relationships. So here's a couple of things that you might consider to really maintain that social layer of your resilient shield as best you can around shift work. One of the strategies that I used to use when I was working night shift and my wife was working day shift to try and make sure that we at least connected a tiny amount each day and didn't run that risk of not seeing each other at all due to our differing cycles was to make a plan to meet her after my night shift and before her day shift. And often that meant meeting at a cafe halfway between my work and her work, where we could at least sit down and have a quick chat and just catch up and see each other face to face and, you know, a bit of contact before she went off to work and I went home to start my wind down procedure be trying to get some sleep before my next night shift. It takes a bit of effort, a bit of coordination, but it just makes sure that you are connecting, having that human contact, which is so important to keep that social layer of your resilient shield uh, going. Another thing that I found very tough from a social perspective when I was working evenings and night shifts was missing that opportunity to say goodnight to my kids. And so what I would do is is make an effort where at all possible when I could when I could cut away for just five minutes, 10 minutes at around the kids bedtime and FaceTime them. So certainly getting on the phone and having that voice contact is good. But if you can step that up to that that face to face uh, via your device, that's that's the next level and just be able to connect with my kids to be able to tell them I love them and to be able to just see them via that means is was a great thing. And you know, it was great for me. It had uh, fire a shot of oxytocin, which had pet me up and make me a, a better doctor in the emergency department, but just a great way to stay connected with them during those periods where you're doing shift work and you'd otherwise miss that opportunity to have that contact and maintain that, uh, that social layer. One more thing that's important to maintain your, your social layer of your resilient shield when you are working shift work is just to prioritise social interaction on your days off. Now, often it's the last thing you feel like you just want to stay at home and just want to sleep and catch up. And that's very important too. You do need to pay off some of that accumulated sleep debt if you've just come off a run of nights. But equally as important is is, is bolstering those social interactions, particularly with your, your spouses, with your kids. So plan those activities, maybe give yourself a day or two after a run of nights to, to reset and get back into to feeling somewhat human again. But then certainly plan and prioritize prioritise some social engagements with, with family, loved ones and friends in those days off. Make sure you're taking those opportunities when you can to, to really strengthen that social layer. Focus only on what you can control. Do not yell into the storm in an attempt to get the wind to stop blowing. Look at the areas you can change and devote your energy towards those.